guys, welcome to the Day in the Life vlog. Today, we're gonna talk about how much it actually costs to get your real estate license. So follow me on some errands. I'm gonna put up a for sale sign on a new listing I have. Let's go. What's up guys? Just put up the sign outside, checked on the house, everything looks good. So now I'm gonna head back into town, but before we do that, let's talk about how much it costs to get licensed. Now just a little disclaimer before we go over the prices, it might be a little bit different where you live. We're gonna be focusing on how much it costs to get licensed in BC. So you can only get your real estate trading services license. <coughs> oh bless me. The pollen is out today. <coughs> oh man. I'm so sorry. Uh, so where were we? Uh, the only school where you can get your real estate trading services license in BC is the University of British Columbia Solder Department. Right now for basic tuition with them, the cost is $1,150 Canadian. This comes with a workbook, the textbook, calculator that you need to do the exam, and a ton of lecture videos. And honestly, this is all you need. Just studying this material, I was able to pass my first try. If you want to see a video on how to pass the exam for the first try, go ahead, follow the link up here. Yeah, I get a lot of questions about people wanting to do extra content, I guess you'd say, to help them pass the exam, but I personally never needed that, and I don't think it's necessary at all. So we're already over $1,000, and the exam fee, I think I remember, is around $100 each time you take it. And congrats, you passed. And once you do, you have to pay $2,000 to the Canadian Real Estate Association to officially get your license. So we're at about $3,250 right now. We could stop right there with the video if that's all that it takes to be licensed, but there's a lot more that goes into it behind the scenes. Now I'm going to be basing this video off of my brokerage EXP with the costs it takes to remain licensed. And EXP is definitely one of the cheaper ones to be licensed with. So the brokerage sign-up fee was around $150 on top of that. And that's just to sign up. The brokerage fee is around $145 a month, which equates to around $1,740 annually. So it's kind of like a monthly subscription basis. Oh, speaking of monthly subscription basis, you also have a board and you need to pay them. So your local real estate board will totally vary in price, but for my real estate board, we pay $180 a month and that equates to around 2,160 annually. And you think it stops there? It doesn't. You need education every two year cycle. I found that I spent around $1,000 over the two years. So equate that to about $500 annually. So as you can see, a lot of the costs kind of happen behind the scenes and after you have your official certification. So the total out of everything I've rounded up for you guys comes to around $8,300. So if you're thinking about getting licensed, be sure to save up at least probably 10 grand in case you don't get a whole ton of sales that first year or two. And we're back. It's a very expensive business to get into. I didn't even really get into the cost of signage or advertising that you're gonna have to do to be able to get qualified leads. That was just the bare bones of being licensed. So although it is an expensive business, it is also a lucrative business if you can do well. The most important thing that you can do is stand out amongst your competition and do things better. For me, I base my brand around video creation and I'm always using my videos for marketing. So you need to find what kind of niche you can tap into to make that happen for yourself. If you can grind your way up to a top producing agent, then all those fees are 100% worth it. And I know that you can do it. I'll see you guys next time.